All right, guys, it's uh, it's 11.25 on a Sunday night, and we're gonna get to cooking. Is that right, Ringo? So, obviously, we need Hershey's. Like, bro. Um, can you s Um, I'd say half and half, yeah. We could do half and half. Uh, we need eggs. Obviously. Not what Ringo's playing with. Um, we could probably use a little bit of salsa. And... Applesauce, of course. Oh, there's another thing there. Come on. Hold on, I gotta grab applesauce real quick. I'm packed into this container so beautifully. Okay, everyone. So, with the, all of our ingredients here, we're gonna start cooking. So, obviously, the cooker needs a spoon. So, the first thing we're gonna do add an egg. So we just need one egg for now. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to get a little bit of the shell in there, obviously. Not too much, though. And then for now, just kind of like uh, grab a napkin and put egg on, put egg shells on that napkin. So next, we're going to use the applesauce. We need to open it what is this thing doing? Um, it's freezing rain. It's pretty sick. So you get a good amount of that applesauce in there. And then uh, right on top of that applesauce is actually really key. You need to just put a little bit of that eggshell on top. I mean, eventually it'll get buried under, but for now it just kind of like gives you good luck. Um... I don't think we need a spoon just yet. I'm gonna crack open these ingredients for now. Just so I don't have to do them with one hand when it comes time. So, they're kind of scattered around, but next you're gonna want to put in the salsa. Make sure you get some of that juice in there too. But get some chunk if you can. Okay, that's good. Um... Chocolate's gonna be last. Now, half and half, it goes in just like this. Just like that. Not too much, not too little. Um, and then chocolate syrup. You want to try your best to draw a homer. Okay. And then just kind of put it in there after you try the homer. If you can't get a homer, then shame on you. Um, after that, we need to add one more egg, but it's important that we crack the egg once it's actually inside of our solution. Okay, there we go. Um, it's okay if the eggshell gets a little covered and some of the ingredients we can afford to lose a little bit we need to crush up the eggshell a little bit and leave some in there okay that's good uh now it's just kind of draining can put it over here now pretty much just mix this up for a little bit um you might want to use a fork if you don't want to use a fork you can use the spoon I'm going to use the spoon, but the fork makes it go by quicker. See the consistency is coming together very well. If you don't like the consistency, you can add a little bit of um, half and half. There's Genie. Now there's going to be something very important that we add to this. Coming up in just a moment. But once you think it's mixed good enough, just kind of put your spoon to the side. And now we need to add the most important thing. It's in here somewhere. 
There it is. I don't know why I didn't see that right away. Tartar sauce. Let's kind of shake it up a little bit. You don't need to that much. I don't think this one is sealed. It might be sealed. Let's see. Maybe we have some in the fridge. No, we don't. So this does need to be opened and then put in the fridge. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but this can be used to feed uh, anything from like cats and dogs to like maybe more exotic things like birds, but it can also even be used to feed humans. It's actually very appetizing. Um, it contains a lot of people's favorite foods and stuff like that. And after a few years of working with it, it's actually um, been proven by me and some of my friends that this is very desired for, um, for just humans. Um, we got that tartar sauce kind of fixed. It should be able to squirt out now. Let's see. Yes. A little bit. Come on. Come on. Let me try to poke a hole in directly where it comes out. That should be better. Let's try it now. There we go. You want a very good amount. Um, I'll put this back because always keep your tartar sauce in the fridge as long as possible. I don't know why it's even in the cupboard. Now we stir again, making sure that tartar sauce gets in there very well. Very chunky. It's a very good soup. Now, the tartar sauce will definitely bring out a smell, but that's okay. That's okay. That is okay. Okay? That's okay. There's the cats. I don't know why. So now, uh, we're just going to take a paper plate and put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. Time cook, 30. Now you may be wondering, where did any of this even spawn from? Like where did you get these ideas and how did you put them all together into this one big project? Well, I mean, the truth is all of these things have been eaten um, like on their own throughout my childhood, especially the tartar sauce. That's why it's so important. Um, but I tried to put it all together once, and I just, ever since then, have been figuring out the ratio to make it taste good. So, yeah, that's a pretty short story. Now, a little bit of it got on the plate, but that's okay. I mean, if we just lose a little bit of the completely stirred together amalgam, it might just leave a little bit of the serving behind, but that's okay. Um, obviously grab something where you can grab something hot. Mitten. Try not to get any on to your grabber. Like I did because I suck. But I mean, as long as you don't get it on your skin, that's okay. I'm just kind of tap it in there. Come on. There we go. I can put that back there. And give it one more stir. Should be much uh, better consistency wise now um so this is very good obviously this serving has no use so i think i'm just gonna put it into the garbage so we can go grab the garbage can and bring it over here to eliminate the risk of any spillage because as it reacts perfectly fine with every chemical in your body my floor actually has a very special chemical in it that makes sure that my cats don't choke on it so, pretty much if it reacts, like if anything in this um, amalgam reacts with it, it uh, kills everyone who lives here. So, I guess this is a very good 
view of the consistency. So yeah, um, thank you all for coming to my recipe. Um, yeah, thank you.